On December 12th, the Game Awards are being held. Nintendo has used this show three times in the past to show something new for Breath of the Wild. So, there is a decent chance they will show something for the sequel. You're watching Zelda Pot Smashers. Viewers have asked me my thoughts about the sequel to Breath of the Wild. Well, obviously I'm very excited. I thought I would take this chance to talk about the game, uh, my predictions, my hopes, my expectations before the Game Awards, because who knows what we're gonna get there. Let's start with what we know. The game will use the same overworld as Breath of the Wild, and it will be a direct sequel. In this trailer we see Link and Zelda together in a cutscene, where it looks like Ganondorf is revived. There is a mysterious blue hand that helps Link. Zelda has short hair. Uh, the Sheikah Towers and the Shrines all seem to be removed from the overworld. And also the Sheikah Slate is nowhere to be seen. Basically, that's everything we got. But what do I expect? Well, the most interesting topic for me is the overworld. How are they going to make sure it feels fresh because uh, we have spent so much time in Breath of the Wild. Some people know all the nooks and crannies of this world and now a sequel, a sequel is taking place in the same spot. That's tricky. So I think Nintendo realizes this and I think they can do a few things to make it new and fresh. Um, it needs to feel different enough, so I think they can change the overworld here and there. Imagine you had a forest in Breath of the Wild, but now the forest has burned down and there's totally a new place. What if they are rebuilding Castle Town or Hyrule Castle? Uh, maybe there are new towns, uh, maybe a, a meteor fell down and uh, there's a big crater and, and weird life forms are uh, growing there and walking around there, stuff like that. Another way is to add new areas. If they would place a few big islands off the coast in the west, that's the west, right? No, that's the east. And then maybe a new area in the west or north or south, whatever. Um, there could be caves, like we saw an underground area in the trailer could be huge caves under uh, underground, that would be awesome. And then underwater swimming. Uh, there is so much water on the map of Breath of the Wild. Rivers, lakes, seas. I want to know what's down there, you know? Uh, and it, it would add so much area to the game, explorable locations. And uh, in an interview, Aonuma spontaneously mentioned that he has Someone on his team who loves scuba diving. He was talking about diversity and how hobbies of people help uh, development of the game. Well, uh, sounds like there will be underwater swimming in Breath of the Wild and I can't wait to try it out um, in the sequel. And uh, one thing, uh, I know that the di Divine Beasts will probably be gone, but do you remember this thing from the concept art? Wouldn't that be awesome to have an underwater dungeon, uh, which is a forgotten divine beast? I would like that, but hey, there are so many possibilities. But that does bring me to dungeons. I think one of the biggest complaints about Breath of the Wild is the lack of proper dungeons. Now, it's not that the game didn't have enough dungeon area, because if you put all the shrines together, it's probably more uh, area than any other Zelda game, but they were all too similar. The game also featured one of the best dungeons in any Zelda game, Hyrule Castle. That place felt so big, so real, it was awesome, it was amazing, so please let's have some more of that in the sequel. There could be old palaces, big cities underground, there could be temples. Uh, I think Nintendo knows this is a, a good way to improve their game. And then there are very small improvements that 
could have been in Breath of the Wild, but they probably just didn't have the time to implement those. Uh, I think I read somewhere that they had so many leftover ideas and improvements for Breath of the Wild that they decided to just make a sequel for it. So, by definition almost, this game will feature many of these small improvements that could have been in Breath of the Wild. And I'm, I'm really looking forward that, to that. Some examples that I think are important. I like horses, I like riding horses, but I want to be able to ride on more animals than just horses, bears and deer. Uh, there are uh, rhinos, mountain goats, bulls, ostriches, so many examples. And I don't mean to uh, ride them and then after a few minutes they run off again, no. I want to catch them, register them, put a saddle on them and I want them to come to me when I whistle in the game. And the sand seals could use a similar upgrade, so you don't have to catch a random one every time. Uh, why can't we just name a sand seal and uh, let it come to us when we whistle in a desert? The wolf amoeba that gave Link a pet in Breath of the Wild. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could just uh, train a pet from the wild? Maybe a wolf, a dog, a boar, a fox. Uh, that would be awesome. And while we're at it, please let us pet animals. That was something that I really missed in Breath of the Wild. Even though you could do it in, in Twilight Princess, etc. Another concept that I would like to see improved is Link getting a house. I mean, it was a simple quest in Breath of the Wild, but it was already a lot of fun. And uh, imagine Nintendo takes this concept and makes it bigger. What if you could uh, choose different spots to build your house and you could design it yourself? So maybe you would buy, you would build a, a mountain cabin in the, in, in the mountains, obviously, or a, a small beach hut, or maybe just a, a pretty house in Castletown. And then uh, let us decorate it the way we want it. And uh, I would really like that. And I, I, think, it's, uh, I think it's possible. Okay, maybe a silly thing, but I would like to see more and better shield surfing uh, or snowboarding, whatever you want to call it. And maybe also a new way to travel fast on or under water. Another thing I hope they improve is the picture quality of the Picto Box. Did you play Super Mario Odyssey? Because that game did it a lot better than Breath of the Wild. There, if you pause the game, uh, you can take a screenshot and it will actually make the quality better than during gameplay instead of worse what uh, the picture box did in Breath of the Wild. I love taking pictures. Uh, I just hope it will be a lot, the, the result be, will be a lot prettier. Oh, and also I want, the, I want to hang these pictures in Link's house as decoration. Last small thing is uh, well, more music. The music was great in Breath of the Wild, but I would like it if there was more of it. And I was even thinking of a radio feature where you could just uh, choose your own music whenever you want it, wherever you wanted it. So I could probably go on for an hour about just small details and improvements to the game, but new areas and improvements don't make for an exciting new game you know we need more so what do i think zelda needs to impress well a few things first of all a new gimmick zelda games have always had gimmicks and some people say it's a bad thing i don't agree it just makes every game feel different from a previous game so what could it be for this sequel i don't know Traveling through time, maybe traveling between alternate worlds, uh, changing the seasons, or I don't know, morphing into animals, something like that. I'm sure Nintendo will come up with something that will make the kids say, Hey, in the next Zelda, you can do this. This may be related, but I think uh, Link needs a new set of skills. The Sheikah Slate might be gone. Um, 
so we need something to replace that so i hope we get to keep most of our skills maybe all of them but i think we need at least some more some new skills for link new ways to interact with the world new ways to solve puzzles etc oh yeah and the the hand the blue hand that we saw in the trailer might be used for this another thing i want is a good villain and i think we can all agree here if ganondorf is coming back i don't want him to be uh, a, a big bad guy you meet at start uh, you meet at the end of the game just like ganon no i want him to be in the game i want there to be cutscenes about him i want him to be ganondorf you know like this secret secretly scheming king pretending to be good but maybe raising an army or deceiving everyone around him that is what would make this game different from breath of the wild related is more storytelling um, breath of the wild had some great cutscenes i really loved them i did but they were all in the past uh, everything happens uh, everything important happened 100 years ago and I felt like it created some distance between the player and the story so for this next game I want things to happen in the present uh, more cutscenes maybe yeah sure still voice acting of course and I want more world building I want more lore more history when I go explore and I'm just finding some ruins like you find these uh, zonai ruins in the jungle you don't know who the zonai are and fans are going crazy like coming up with theories so i would like the game to have more when it comes to that more quests uh, more text blocks saying and more stuff to find okay the last point is maybe a bit of preference but i would like Zelda to be playable. Nintendo has been thinking about it. Miyamoto and Aonuma have mentioned a playable girl or playable Zelda in the last few years. They said the time wasn't right. I think the time is right now. Uh, you have the perfect setup. You have Link and Zelda together at the beginning of the game. One falls down or not. I don't know what exactly they do, but I hope you get to choose which one to play. And I will choose Zelda will be fresh it will be nice maybe if she has a different skill set or maybe she's just a female link we'll see we'll see okay that's basically all my thoughts about the sequel to breath of the wild for now i hope we get to see something at the game awards uh, but i'm also trying not to get my hopes up so you notice that I haven't done much for my channel in the last year, uh, hardly anything actually. It's been a very busy year. I got married almost six months ago. I'm doing really well. Uh, I'm still a big Zelda fan. Actually, I started playing Link's Awakening only last week because I thought, it, I, thought I wouldn't like it too much. A simple remake of an old game that I already played three times, but I do enjoy it. I like it yeah anyway i hope to make more videos but hey no promises i'm sorry so let me know what you think what do you want to see in the sequel what do you think we'll see and if we'll see something at the game awards what will it be gameplay a short teaser will they announce something big like a playable zelda let me know in the comments below i read all the comments i Try to re respond to all of them. I'm Stefan, and thanks for watching Zelda Post Measures.